Hey guys, it's me, Will Patson from Brain Designs here, and here is a new tutorial. And I'm going to teach you how to use a pen tool in Illustrator, which is one of the most fundamental tools that you'll need to use when doing graphic design. So I'm going to just jump into Illustrator right now. And the best way to do it is to trace around an image that you've copied off the internet. Now for this one, I'm going to use the new Twitter logo. So I've copied it. Now I'm just going to paste it by pressing Control and V into my artboard. You can see that it's got white around it. So what we're going to do, press Shift and Alt and bring that down quite a lot. To about here and then once we've done that it should just be there then we're going to go up to here and we're going to name this twitter logo logo uh, first um because you'll see why in a second we're going to just double click to the right of that and we're going to go and say template press template dim it to 50 percent and that'll become a template that you can't actually uh move or do anything with so we're going to create a new uh, layer just here and within this layer we're just going to press I double click on it and just say final trace and then what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and we'll get the color as well so the color for that is a sort of light blue maybe it's probably a bit darker actually so I'll give it that I just got the color for it or whatever but that's just so you guys can see um, and then I'm going to probably just start from up here and just for the purposes of this it's not going to be too good but I use a graphics tablet and we're going to start and press up here when we press up there that means that we have placed an anchor point that little red dot is an anchor point there and it's red because my layer up here is red so uh, it makes some sort of sense so you can see it then we'll go and press down here and we're going to make one massive curve and we're just going to pull it out and lift it up and it takes a bit of while, a bit of while to get used to but if you keep doing this it'll help you now with this you're seeing something a bit weird going on here that is actually um a fill because you can see down here we don't have a stroke of the fill so it works just like a shape so we're going to go and press shift and x which will switch that around and give us the fill and i'm going to just change the stroke actually to a black so you can see it easier then the next one is is that if we come up here and just press up there you see we get this weird curve going on so what we need to do is we need to just hover over this last anchor point and you'll see this v come up and you just need to click it and what that does it gets rid of that anchor point so when it will just give us a straight line just to go for so then we just go up here and we're going to just carefully like so trace around it that's amazing let's see if we can get it around here no we can't so we'll just do that thing again we can cut it the longer the stroke the um, smoother it is depending on how good you are with the uh, pen tool We'll just do the same here, and then we'll just follow around this edge here. Didn't get right to the edge, so we'll just go in a bit. Feel free to zoom in, and it'll help. And we'll just do that. Come down here, show you from here. We'll just copy that one as well. Over here, does that one look all right? I don't like the look of that one, so we'll just bring it back. And it's basically just practice. The further away, you bring the handle, the farther away the bend will be. So that's what you've got to understand. So it's all about getting the feel of the pen tool. There's no real tutorial that you can go on that will teach you everything about it and how to use it. It's a matter of getting comfortable with the pen tool over time. So then what we'll do is down here, we'll just create one here. I'll try and get it as smooth as possible. And then we'll just come down here. We don't need to get rid of that one, I don't think, because... Uh, it's got a good bend to it. So we'll just do that. That one there. Over here, that one's got an all right bend to it, I guess. Well, not really. It's got a bit of a funny bend to it. So we'll just come up here and do it again. It's much, this gets us used to all the curvature of it. Now, I haven't done a fantastic job here. If you spend more time on it, though, you will do a better job than I have or I am doing. But this is sort of the general layout of the pen tool. And this will help you in your first steps towards creating things with the pen tool or tracing your own images. There's other ways you can do it. You can do image traces, which we could have done here, but this gives a, uh, a much sharper, uh, accurate look to what you're getting. Just like so. And I'm tracing around with just a stroke at the moment, but we can add a fill later on. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to close this and you'll see a little uh, circle. Uh, next to the uh, pen tool cursor and that means you're going to close it and we'll just come up here 
Spin that around. Again, not too accurate, but there we go. And then we have our finished um, sort of look of the Twitter bird. Then we can uh, sort of hide this from view. We can just come in like so. Get rid of that as a template. I want to get the color for this. We'll just get the color of that. And then we'll just hide it again. We'll go ahead and make this a swatch so I can change the color of the bird to this color. There we are, there's a Twitter logo. And then that's your free, basically, uh, easy way of creating the Twitter logo or any sort of other logo. You can do it with other things, uh, with your drawings and that. I use, don't use the pen tool too often, but when I do, it's good fun. Uh, it's I'm really surprised at how it works and how easier it has gotten for me to work it and stuff. So if you just keep going on with the pen tool, it should, uh, in time, help you with everything that you're doing within uh, graphic design and stuff. Uh, it works within Photoshop a bit differently, and I'll go over that in another video tutorial. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.